What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sussex Core, the one who never knows best. Bring you some more Dragon Ball Fighters ranked matches, and today breaking out the base Vegeta, Android 21, and Trunks teams, because, you know, <laughs> I gotta play this team a lot. Like I said, this is probably my second favorite team in the game right now. And it looks like we're up against a Super Saiyan Rose player running Trunks, UI, Goku, and Bardock, which is, in a lot of people's opinion, the strongest team in the game. Although, seeing him run Trunks on point with, uh, UI Goku middle and then Bardock in the third slot is a bit unorthodox. Most people will run this team in the order of UI Goku Bardock Trunks, but uh, if he makes it work, he makes it work. We're just gonna reflect that and oh, my jam was too slow, but he did commit. Right, I'm gonna raw tag. Looks like he was waiting for it, but didn't actually punish me for it, so that's all well and good for me. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, let's get the sliding knockdown here. Whoa, jump Dragon Rush on Wake Up? Is That's what we on? Oh, the Bardock assist. I, I definitely tried to jump out of the way. I definitely tried to jump out of the way and I got caught. It's going to probably DHC out, bring in UI Goku. Yeah, that's what I expected. Opting to spend both bars here, not really. I was sure why, but... So many people, bro. Everybody super dashes after getting their... their uh, not their Dragon Rush, they're a 2H blocked. You know what? We're gonna get 21 out of here because she's actually leaking pretty bad. Got a decent chunk of blue life though, so we should be able to get some of that back. I'm gonna run up do nothing because it's UI Goku. Yeah. It's wow, that's super active. My goodness. I thought I was huge brain for baiting it, and it still caught me. Come on, dog. <laughs> oh! Let's do it again. The U the, the DP assist still caught me. That was such a good 2H. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was a good 2H. Okay, that was a really bad super dash by me, but that's fine. I started flipping a super dash, and I actually got hit by it too. He somehow avoided the beam, and I somehow didn't react to that. That's actually kind of insane. Spending the bar here? But why? Okay, let me... I'm a raw level 3. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just gotta let it rip, just, just to calm them down a little bit on offense, just to let you know that it is an option. And that you're not afraid to use it. I dropped it, and he down tech and mashed. I didn't believe. I didn't believe. Damn. Damn. Okay, we're actually kind of getting beat up pretty bad in this first game. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll gladly take that. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna back dash from start. Again with the flip and the super dash. He back dashed on his plus frames. I challenged with it too well. And Super dash, huh? Ah, uh, I tried to challenge because he whiffed, but I will still actually block something from the Bardock, and he spends bar after every single combo. Why? He spends his bar every single time. Oh, I'm dead. You didn't have the spark. That's why you dropped it, loser. <laughs> That's why you dropped it. You didn't. You didn't even have to do that. You tried to be fancy for no reason. <laughs> tried to look cool and failed. And now you might actually lose this match. Because you want to spark. Uh, nice. Level 3 here. Um, Let's just go for safe jump. Let's just hope I don't mess it up. Clutch. 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 So you had it. You had it. I don't know why you sparked there. You really, really didn't have to spark there. You had the game won. You wanted to spark for some reason, and it cost you the match. You won't be so lucky next time. Well, unlucky, but lucky in the fact that you get that close to winning. I'm on you. I'm on your head top now. I'm on your head top now. You're kicking it in overdrive. Hold this key blast. Ooh, you thought it was your turn because you reflected? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I should be him down. It's a command grab, level one. Probably still gonna have to spend three bars here, but that's fine. Oh, the burning attack whiffed. You know, I to this day, I uh, I underestimate the amount of time I have to uh, DHC. Wow, my guy's kind of going sicko mode. The amount of time I have to um, DHC off of the uh, base Vegeta's Gallic gun. I gotta remember that um, you actually kind of get like a sliding knockdown effect off of his uh his level one so you don't have to dhc right away like you've got time i just sometimes i forget uh, well, 
As you can see though, we're in much more control of this match than we were in the last one. Sometimes it takes me a second to, uh, yeah, he's just, he's, he's, he's just mashing now. He's just mashing now. Sometimes it takes me a game or two to adapt to the way my opponent is playing. But once they show me that they, you know, they got a little something, something up their sleeve, then I got to kick it up a notch, you feel me? My guy is just down there going ham. Oh, that was good. That was good. The back dash, back dash got away from me. I'm a raw tag now. Ooh, it lagged there for a second. Hold this rocket kick if you don't mind. Um... Knee drop, call it this key blast. Was waiting for him to do the Dragon Rush tech, he didn't do it. Ooh, come on, bro. Oh, wait, why did I vanish there? I didn't get my 21 call, hello? <laughs> I definitely called 21 to that block so she didn't show up. I'm just gonna jump out of that. You know what I never use? Vegeta's, um,. That key blast, his 7S and his 9S, I never use those, and I don't really know why. Gonna spend the bar here? Because he spends it off, off of every combo? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why he spends all his meter on every single combo. I guess he just really uh, values the damage he gets, but then he's not... I mean, I don't know. It, it's not the way I choose to play the game, but... It must have worked for him thus far, because, I mean, he's gotten a Rosé rank. Oh, real quick, I should probably also mention that this is being recorded not too long after I just uploaded the video talking about how I might join a Bums online tournament. And um, I set the goal in that video, right, to 5,000 likes. I said if I get 5,000 likes, and I'll enter the tournament. Uh, that video has been out for two hours as of this recording, and it's already at 3,000 likes. So I think it's pretty safe to say that we're probably going to reach that goal, which is dope because I'm always down. And I don't know if people think I'm afraid to enter tournaments. I'm not. <laughs> the, the, the biggest reason you've never seen me travel to a tournament like on the offline events is because they cost a lot of money. Plane tickets aren't cheap. Not to mention hotel, food, Ubers, spending money just so I'm not sitting in the hotel room by myself while I'm there. Like, it's not ch cheap to travel and compete in a tournament. That's the biggest reason why y'all ain't seen me go. And as far as online tournaments go, I just, I don't know, just never really felt like it. But a lot of people really, oh, one game? That's how you feel? Oh, no, that was two. That was two. Yeah, like, as far as online tournaments go, I just never really felt like it, I guess. But a lot of people want to see me enter this one, so I'll probably do it. I don't expect to make it very far. I think most of you overrate me. Some of you underrate me. Some of you want to see me enter the tournament because you're just excited to see me get beat up by people better than me. Which is cool, because a lot of y'all think I'm really cocky and arrogant, which I don't get. Because the majority of people understand that I undersell myself pretty heavily. And <laughs> I don't expect to make it very far, but we'll see how it goes and I'll be back with the next opponent. Living Legend rank? I guess we'll take it. Gohan, Goku Black, and Frieza. Sure. But yeah, I, it's funny to me because I don't really get how or why I knocked over <laughs> my tea. Well, a, a, a can of tea. Don't worry, it's not open. But um, yeah, I don't really get how or why some people think I'm so cocky or so arrogant because I'll be the first person to tell, to tell you that I am trash at this game. I don't think I'm that good at all, and I will not be surprised if I lose every single fight in this tournament. But a lot of people seem to think that I can do really, really well, so we'll try, but... I don't expect to make it very far, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I never been one to back down from a challenge. Oh. All right, let's see if we can hit this guy with the loops. Nope, because we dropped those because I'm buns. And the early spark already. Don't back fist me, EX legs, we'll block that. No, we jump out of that. Uh, 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 uh. I dropped it. Rocket kick. You know the vibes. Uh, do we have to spend another bar here? We do, but whatever, it's worth it. Got him to spend his spark. Now he's just down to Goku Black and Frieza. Goku Black and Frieza. Oh, speaking of Goku Black, like, <laughs> there's not really any other way to say it. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say it because there's no, there's no way around it. Recently, I made that video, you know, playing Goku Black and talking about why I don't think Goku Black is all that good and. Asking people why they think Goku Black is good and explaining a little bit why I think he's not that good, but also just really telling you guys to go watch No Kami's video on him. Because again, it's not that Goku Black is bad, it's just that so many other characters are just so much better. There's no real reason to play him because he's kind of mediocre to subpar at everything and not excellent at anything. And <laughs> reading my YouTube comments, I I'm not going to hold you guys. Listen, listen, listen. I mean this in the most humble, non arrogant way. The only people who think Goku Black is good are people who aren't very good at the game. 
Unless your name is Axis. And truth be told, I don't really know what Axis's opinion is on the character, I just know Axis is really good at the game and happens to play the character. But with that being said, I still stand by my statement. It seems that the vast majority of people who think Goku Black is really strong or let alone overpowered are people who aren't that experienced or skilled at the game. It just is what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just is what somebody had to say. Somebody had to say it because it's, it's, it, was, it was exactly what I expected. Is people were like, oh yeah, I'm down at you know demon rank or super saiyan 3 rank and I think Goku Black's pretty good or I think he's really good because it's auto combo because it's 2H and I'm just like, yeah, that pretty much just comes, confirms everything I thought about the character that everybody I thought about or everything I thought about the people who think the character is good. And that's, that's, that's not really me taking a shot. It's just that like what I thought is exactly the case. <laughs> I know that was like a horrible thing to say right after just talking about, oh, I'm not cocky, I'm not arrogant, I don't think I'm, not, I'm all that good at the game, but it, it needed to be said. I had to get that off my chest. <laughs> I had to get that off my chest. But I, I can't, because like a lot of people, some things just go right in one ear and right out the other when it comes to some people, and some people just didn't I clearly hear me say it a hundred times. Goku Black isn't trash. He's just mediocre. And a lot of characters in this game are not. <laughs> yeah, he can stagger you all day long. He can auto combo you all day long. He can twitch you all day long. That's not hitting good players, bro. Unless you get lucky, or unless they just mash and run into it. Like the, when you play Goku Black, you're relying on your opponent being stupid. That's that's really all it is. When you play Goku Black, you're relying on your opponent being bad or being stupid. That's kind of how Goku Black gets his hits. Knocking out of twenty-one. There we go. I've actually been practicing some uh, some better combo extensions with this team that I haven't actually been using yet, and I need to Im start implementing those in my play. It, this is a very common trend with me. Well, like I'll learn something new and then I won't actually start doing that new thing for some time, and I don't really have a reason as to why. Also, I want to use this key blast more, but I don't really know effectively. Like I don't really know what I'm meant to do with it. I need to ask somebody like LK or something. Uh, what like the utility is. Of like uh base view is like 7s and his 9s because I, I don't use it like ever. Um I was gonna loop him, but we don't need to. We can just kill him with a simple combo here. Probably could have killed meterlessly. Uh I got my assist back in time, but it's whatever. I got plenty of meter. <laughs> I have plenty of meter. Um, do we wanna just do a first and two with this guy and then try to find somebody of higher rank? I think we do. At least I do. Ooh, caught him pushing something. Uh -huh. wah, 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 wah. Um, we'll level three and get Android 21 in. We'll bring in Android 21, just cause why not? I'm feeling uh, I'm, I, I I could go for a little pink matter right now. You did what I'm saying. You smell me. Oh, that was good. Oops. Yeah, that's what I get. Tried to reflect. Was was feeling was feeling myself a little too much. Didn't feel like blocking. CSs have a million frames of startup, so they actually do be catching your boy slipping. This is level three. We're just gonna block low here because every freezer play goes for two. I'm after this. No, I stand corrected. I was gonna say every single freezer play I've ever fought always goes for two. I'm there, but he actually went for a dragon rush. Much to my surprise, shows what I know. Oh, that didn't connect for real. My jam actually. Wow, we brought in 21 just for her to die. I'm surprised that that jump medium whips there. That's usually got a pretty great hitbox on it. Yeah, you thought, boy. I still gotta work on the timing of that. Getting using the beam assist to extend after the rocket kick. I screwed that up a lot. Reason players love their two-way chomp, and I love my rocket kick. Uh, 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 uh. Good reflect. I'm a rocket kick. <laughs> you know the vibes. You know the vibrations. You already know what's going on. YKTV and Ibi. I don't know why I super dash, but I definitely don't know why he super dashed. <laughs> I, I could have killed him there. I should have done command grab into level one. All right, though. Rocket kick. Rocket kick. Oh, he tried to two H it. He tried to two H it. You can't really two H that on reaction. You, the only way you're two Hing that is if I'm in the air or if you're just mashing it preemptively and I, you just catch me at the right time. But you you cannot. If I do that on the ground, you cannot. Good interrupt. You cannot two H rocket kick on reaction. And it's funny to me because so many people like that's their answer to everything. Uh, they, people want two H to be the answer to everything. I just talked about how every freezer player just does two M there, and I let him run up into M. But yeah, it's a very common trend I see among you know. I, I hate referring to people's ranks, but you know the, the lower rank players are just like, why doesn't anybody two H that? How come you, that, that person, person didn't two H that? Why didn't you two H this? Two H that? Two H like they want to be able to two H everything in this game. That's just not how it works. <laughs> like uh, the trunk safe jump I do from the top of the screen, people are like, how come nobody ever two H's that? You can't. How come nobody ever two H's rocket kick? 
you really can't. How come nobody ever 2 is Blue Goku? You really can't. And when I say you can't, I, the safe jump, you can't at all, right? Unless I just mess up. But when it comes to moves like the Rocket Kick and Goku's like elbow, like you can, but not really. Like you can if you were just mashing it and you got lucky, but you're not supposed to be able to, <laughs> really. Um, yeah, we'll try to find one more opponent though to wrap things up. Well, what have we here? Somebody very, di wait, didn't I fight this guy before? That name looks familiar. I don't remember this team though. But you don't play a team like Blue Goku, Jiren, and Base Goku unless you really know what you're doing. And uh, with thousands of games played and nearly 2,000 or 2 million BP under his belt, I'd be willing to bet this guy knows a thing or two about what he's doing with this team. And I forgot that that move is faster than like every other move in the game. I actually don't know the frame data on it, but it beats every round start I ever try to do against Blue Goku. So I gotta stop trying to do moves round start and um, just be defensive in those situations. Well, in those round starts. Word? A guy didn't want to block. You don't want to block? I'll punish. Now, if I was a better player, I'd know a TOD or something like that, but I didn't. Okay, so he's gonna be. <gasps> I didn't mean to dash right there. I definitely meant to just stay still. Snap? Oh, he might know about me. Either he knows about me or he remembers me. What, what other reason would you snap in trunks? There was no reason to snap in trunks. Okay, so you're gonna raw tag every time like that. Gotcha. I gotta be more patient and look for the punish on that. This guy either knows about me or he remembers me from a, a previous fight. Because there's no other reason you snap in my trunks unless you know who I am or we fought before. Yo, where's my base Vegeta call? Where was my base Vegeta call? Ah, oh, I as soon as I did that dive, I called base Vegeta and he never showed up. Dang, that sucks. Dang, Jiren gives base Goku Spirit Bomb. I feel like half the roster, if not more, gives base Goku Spirit Bomb. At first, it was like, how, how are we going to be able to combo into that with this character? But it seems like so many characters can actually do it. Whoops. No, I'm a super dash. Uh, just toss him, just command grab him. I'm four called Trunks. Oh, don't twitch me. I messed up. I, I couldn't process what steals I had quickly enough, so I didn't know how I could extend that combo. I didn't confirm. My guy's guard canceling and raw tagging, like his life depends on it. Speaking of raw tag. Okay, okay. Womp, 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 womp. One bar that should be jeering down. Actually, I might have to spend another. Yeah, I do. Damn. I could, I should have done a better combo, or I should have EX'd it, so that way... I could have saved at least half a bar, because I could have done EX, me dive, and into the command grab, and into the level one, and then it definitely would have been enough. Oost, that still caught me, even with the dash from the change of the future. Oh, I didn't block low! Trunks is dead. Trunks is dead. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Unless he drops it. He didn't drop it. Damn! I forgot about the standing low, which I should have been blocking low anyway, but I just, just wasn't thinking fast enough. Damn, Trunks dying is... The thing is, like, the, the funny part about this team is that out of all teams I play, this is the only team where if Trunks dies, I'm like, eh, I can still probably do this. Like, I, it's not the end of the world, but it is still very bad when Trunks dies. Base Goku down. A blue Goku with nearly five and a half bars and still a lot of health. Still dangerous. I tried to 2 H and accidentally jumped. Terrible combo, but whatever. Yeah, this guy's all over the place. This guy's all over the place. Well, that's 21 dead. Um, if he hits me with a medium starter, base Vegeta could die in one combo. I, I, I at the earliest possible, at the at the soonest opportunity, I should pop my sparking. Yeah, 
yeah, I had to pop it immediately there after that whiff. I'm a super- Yeah, she had the same idea. Reset me, I dare you. Okay, he didn't. Kick. <gasps> oh! Are you for real? Okay, but this guy plays uh, extremely, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He, he, he doesn't play defense. He, he hates blocking, which, <laughs> like I said before, if they play a blue hair character, they hate blocking. But if you notice, like, every time he was negative, he would, he would, uh, raw tag. He did a lot of guard canceling, lots of buttons. Uh, a very, very, very aggressive play style, for sure. Um, not somebody I can't beat, but one of those players that usually takes me, I did it again like an idiot. Again, he was in a, in a negative situation, so the first thing he did was raw tag. I gotta, I gotta adapt better to how he's playing, because it's a very, very punishable play style. Um, I'm just not doing a good job against it, apparently. Smashing. Super dash. It actually beat my jump light. Damn, base Vegeta's dead already. Ah, fuck. I shouldn't be losing to this dude. <laughs> like, he's not bad, but like, I, I'm seeing all the flaws in his play and I'm not adapting properly. That's one of my biggest flaws as a player is like, even though I see the weaknesses in my own play and the, uh, the uh, opportunities to take advantage of in my opponent's play, I don't always adapt to them as quickly as I need to. Especially against players like this who are just like really aggressive and obnoxious with the way that they play. I made the right read, but not really. Damn it. I felt like I was a huge brain for going for the up crab. I was like, he gonna jump. I'm gonna just mash. Ah, damn it. Oh, uh, I should have vanished into Dragon Rush into level 1, level 3. I could have killed this character. We run up 6M. Online Warrior at his finest. Online Warrior at his finest. I don't feel like it was any one character in particular, though, that... Wow, I can't believe that that worked out for him. I don't feel like it was any one character in particular that gave me trouble. I think it's just his playstyle in general just really counters mine very well. That was so scrubby of me. I always talk about how other 21 players key blast before the command grab, and then I did it. Nice confirmed Lotus. Sometimes you gotta give yourself props. Okay. The biggest thing about when I fight players like this is remembering to stay calm. I I allow myself to get so easily flustered by people who just like don't play defense, or they, the way that they play defense is just by extremely aggressive offense, constantly, 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 just always buttons, 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 raw type, raw type, guard cancel, guard cancel. Um. I, I just, yeah, I just allow it to get in my head too much. Damn, she's dead. Wow. Um, It doesn't help. That's also extremely hot in my room. <laughs> and it makes me get flustered all that much easier because for some reason my room just does not get the proper amount of air it needs. Bro, they told me. They told me. I saw the Twitter clip. If you block somebody super dashing and sparking, you can 2-H them now. But it never works for me. It works for everybody who fights me, though. Every time I fight somebody... Well, not every time, but a lot of times I'll fight somebody and I'll super dash on block and... Wow. I didn't that combo. I gotta stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. He mashed. He definitely mashed. I don't know what he mashed, but he mashed something. Um, I'm gonna just backdash. Why did we even clash there? He's negative two. And I'm so bad at clash situations. I lose the nine times. Oh, he did the wah wah on me. He did the wah wah on me. He definitely flexed. I hate you. Damn, bro. He mashed on negative two, and we clashed instead of him just getting counter hit. And then I lost the clash. Damn, bro. Oh, wow. This video's already gone on way too long, as it is. So we're actually going to wrap things up here, but I'm going to play this guy some more, just because these are really good matches, and I never, ever run into people my same rank anymore. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed, and you know the rest. Stay tuned for part two.